Hello, everyone. And now we're going to, now that we've um, found out what the stresses on this piece of geometry are, we're going to do the optimization. And the optimization really is pretty easy. The optimization is done on the simulation level. And what we do is we go to the simulation and we use new solution process geometry optimization. Here it is. The geometry optimizer, we do a setup. This is a wizard. So we do a setup and it appears here. Okay. And we have to make all of these green, uh, all of these um, items green check mark. So there's setup. We go next. And now we define the objective. Now the objective is a result measure. And the result that we're looking for is, I'm just going to delete this one because I've done this once before and I want to show you from scratch here. Okay, so the result measure is the von Mises stress. So we're going to go here mm -hmm. and we're going to make an expression name. This one's going to be Steve. And it is a elemental von Mises stress. And what we want is the maximum stress um, to be loaded into this variable called Steve. And I'll say apply. <clears throat> okay. So when I uh, cancel out of that, I make sure that this variable is Steve. And it says the current value of the maximum von Mises elemental stress right here. So I can close that. And then I go on to the next thing. This is the constraints. Now, the constraints for this particular uh, exercise are, um, we're just going to do it on the weight. And we don't really uh, care too much. We just want to make sure that there's an upper and lower value that makes some sense. So so what we have is the weight of this device has to be a, um, less than 200 pounds, which it is. So we apply that. It's taken a while, apply. And then we click on weight again and we go lower and we give it a number for the lower. So that's 20 or let's call it two. So that's a very large bracket and we apply that. And then we cancel, we've got to make sure that those two values are there. We have to continually uh, make sure that everything that we're clicking is actually going in. So we have the constraints now defined. Now we define the variable that we're going to be changing or that this simulation is going to be changing. And uh, what we care about is T. And right now T is 0.125 and that is fine. Um, the brackets that we're going for, uh, the limits, if you will, uh, are 0.125. And their upper limit is, let's say, 0.75. So that's fine. So now I forgot one thing. And that is, I've got to define my objective better. So this is fine. You can see that the, uh, the uh, value T is going to change from 0.125 to 0.75. That's great. But let's go back to the objective here. And what we didn't do is set the target value that we're looking for. And what we're looking for in this particular exercise is 6,000 PSI. So we make sure that that's entered. And we say next. And uh, so just to um, check that out one more time, I'm going to go back to define objective and see up yep, the target value is 6,000, which is good. So now we're going to go to uh, control parameters. Now, these control parameters, um, I find that, the, um, that these are too loose, that when I use these numbers, it doesn't really converge very well. So I'm going to make these tighter. I'm going to make this point 0.1, enter. I'm going to put another zero here. Uh, I'm going to make this uh, one instead of uh, 2.5. 2 
and I'm going to make this one as well. And what we can see is it's only going to do uh, 20 maximum uh, tries to have this whole thing work. So now I'm all set. So I'm going to finish that. And now I'm going to go to setup and I'm going to say solve. And then we wait. It's going to go through the paces that it's going to do probably five or six cases before it converges. Uh, when this is working well, the um, little spreadsheet shows up. But I've got a lot of windows open, so it probably won't show up till the end. But now we wait and we watch as it goes through. And uh, oh, the spreadsheet's coming up on another window. It's not in the recorded windows, but it's right here. I can see it. So we can watch the objective. And this is going to take a few minutes because I do have a good mesh on this one. Fine mesh. Uh, and right now, all of these cases are being loaded to the setup uh, when you see the solution under setup one we'll be able to see all the different uh, tries and what they were and they're going to be summarized on the excel spreadsheet so as you can see the uh, model converged uh, trial three and trial four Got 6,003 6, here and 5,969. So that was close enough to uh, the 6,000 that we wanted. So the conclusion then is T at 0.147 or 0.147 between 0.1474 and 0.1475. That's the answer that we were looking for. So again, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. This was a optimization of stresses. It's uh, a demonstration of the fact that when you model things well and you pay attention to your model-based design, you can have these higher end uh, functions happening and uh, all within the same package of an X. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe, please share it with your friends and there will be more like this coming. Thanks again.